Okay guys, let's just be honest, we all know that there's a pimple on the corner of my mouth, but let's just do the best thing for all of us and ignore it. Cool, thanks. There is a window behind me, my hair looks like a mess, but you know, we're gonna roll with it because that's what today is about, rolling with it and making compromises that you don't really wanna make. It's really bothering me, I need to lose it. We're not making this kind of compromise today, guys. This lighting is gonna suck, but you're gonna have to deal with it. I don't know what to do with my life, and neither does my cooking, so. Hi guys, it's Felicia, and today's video is... I don't really know what today's video is, honestly. I am home alone, I am cooking my dinner, and shh. You can tell you're a good YouTuber when you forget to put your phone on silent while you're making a video. Anyways. So I am cooking dinner and I am going to be answering some of your questions while I am cooking dinner. So today I am cooking pasta. So um, cooking with no pants on probably isn't the smartest thing to do. But you know what? Let's be honest guys, what YouTuber actually wears pants while they're filming a video? Not me. Okay, I'm going to put some water on to boil because that's what you do when you cook pasta, right? The first question is, what type of horse is Slinky? Slinky is a thoroughbred. I'm thinking about getting a new horse. What are some good breeds and questions to ask the seller before you buy a horse? Okay, for breeds wise, it pretty much depends on what you're looking to do with the horse. Um, just a normal good breed for anyone is a quarter horse. They always, the good, like, Honestly, it depends what you're looking for, but a quarter horse is probably a good standard breed for anyone. But if you're looking to be more eventing kind of things, you are looking more at the expensive size pro side probably, which be warm bloods, thoroughbreds, and Irish sport horses, which are amazing. I love Irish sport horses. But yeah, so if you're looking more into the eventing side, they're good horses for that. Yeah, and questions to ask the seller. Ask them anything you want to know. Like, I'm serious, don't hold back on any questions you think you might not want to ask. Reason being is because you'll end up getting the horse and wanting to know that answer to the question later and you won't be able to have an answer to it. So, um, but standard questions to ask a buy seller would be, you know, how old has it ever done eventing or jumping or is there, has it had any medical problems? Just history on the horse, um, any issues they've had with it, or you know, is it good around traffic and things like that. These are just the standard questions that I would ask. Um, there's heaps more questions, but um, you know, just go, you know, go nuts with the questions. But yeah. I haven't filmed a video in two weeks and I think that's why I'm so crazy today because I haven't been able to talk to you guys and let out all of my craziness on video where I can just keep talking to myself and you guys, you guys in there, I see you, I see you. Oh, I managed to too big hole in the packet and it keeps going, no, oh. And I ripped it too fast, so I don't know how I'm supposed to do life. It's boiled! Wait. Yes, it has. I can't put a clamp on this thing because I... <laughs> Shh. I did it! <laughs> it really sucks. Okay, I need to take this off. It's hot? No. Yes. No, that is hot. That is hot. That is hot. Okay. Pasta in you go. What can you do bareback? Walk, trot, or canter slash jump and stuff? Oh! Um, and if you can canter, how do you find your balance? Okay, I can do walk, trot, canter, gallop. I have never tried bare, jumping bareback, but that's just because I'm not a very experienced jumper yet. Still working on jumping and so is Slinky. So, um, I haven't tried that yet and I'm not... <coughs> Sorry, I had something in my throat. But, and I'm not planning on trying jumping bit back yet, but um, I, okay, T just a fact about me, the the gate I find the hardest bareback is trot. Gallop is 
simple. I could easily do a gallop, full blown gallop up the paddock bareback. That is fine. Canter is fine. Walk is obviously fine. It's the trot that I find the hardest. <laughs> if you guys have ever seen that video of me falling off slinky bareback, um, I posted it on Instagram, but I'll put it in right now. Boom. Yeah, so as you can tell, um, I was doing full blown gallop, gallop up the paddock and um, it was near the end when I fell off. It was because Slinky actually went into a trot to get out of the gallop and that, I didn't fall off in the gallop. It was the trot, it was because it was too bouncy and I was just like, mm, boom. And which I've never fallen off, that really hit my back. I've got a sore back at the moment. But yeah, so, um, but how to find your balance um, in the canter, pretty much squeeze your inner thighs. That is the main part. And I squeeze my inner thighs and keep your EQ heels down and against the horse. Don't leave your legs flailing around, kind of thing. Just inner th squeeze the inner thighs, squeeze your whole leg to keep it right against the horse. And that is pretty much how you'll find your balance. It's just your EQ is pretty much it. I know who you are, TBE Dance. I am part of your YouTube channel. Uh, I think it's Elise or it's Becca. It's either Elise or Becca. Peace. Um, anyway, what's the question? I didn't even read it. Hey, Tal. Ha, ha, ha. No, this is Elise actually because she called me Tal. Actually, or is it Becca? No, it's Elise. It's Elise because you called me Tal. Hi, Elise. Um, tell us how you got into dance and why. <laughs> hey, hey, from you know who. Love ya. I know why you went to ask this question because at dance camp we were talking, we had to give a fact that no one knows really about us and I mentioned about how I got into dance and why I wanted to start dance. Okay guys, so um, the reason why I actually started dance was because it's quite funny. In primary school I did in year three, I want to say four, I don't know, year three or four, um, I did a dance where I was a sheep. I, yes, I was a, it was Mary had a little lamb, I was a sheep and part of it I had to pretend to eat grass. I enjoyed that dance so much that I wanted to start dance. Three, two, one. Thank you, timer. Okay guys, this is the part I've burnt myself on once before. You guys learn a lot about me in this kind of video. So I'm just sharing my whole life story with you. Okay, once when I was doing this with my pasta, I decided to grab this without the tea towel. I burnt my whole inside of my hand. I don't know what was going through my head, but steam. But I was just thinking maybe it was a smart thing to do is just to like grab it with my bare hand and burn the friggin' hell out of my finger. off and walk around with her pants on in a big heavy jumper. I'm still hot. Okay, pour your pasta, Talisha. You can do it. Okay, while Talisha is pouring her pasta, the next question is... Okay. Bareback or saddle? Um, it depends what I'm doing. Um, if I'm going on a trail ride, Definitely a saddle, but if I'm just in the paddock, I think I gotta say bareback because I feel like more at one with the horse, if that makes any sense, in the, if I don't sound crazy. I just feel more like connected. I don't know, that just makes me sound really dumb. But it just makes me like feel more like bonded because I feel their skin and like their hair. I love bareback because you can feel their hair against your legs if you've got shorts on. And I love it. It's like the best thing. I love horse hair. 
I am using the fancy salt today because I am just a fancy person. It is pink. Why does it not focus? I put auto focus on, but it's just like, nah. I'm just not gonna focus on that. So I'm gonna salt my pasta. Go me. While I do that, I went into the next question. Oh my god, there's so many questions. <laughs> Slinky. Slinky is 21 years old. Um, so he's not the youngest horse, but he sure freaking acts like it. But um, yeah. And how many hand ties? He already answered that. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. He is, I don't know exactly, I would like to measure him myself, but I believe he's around 15 to 16 hands high. I'm leaning more towards the high 15 hands high kind of thing. What is your favorite thing about him? I just love how he follows me around and comes to me in the paddock and um, he just, oh he's so cute. I just love how he's on the ground um, the most because he's just so friendly. Oh no, the thing I love the, the most about Slinky is that when I scratch his head, because that's his favorite spot to be scratched, he bends his head down and sometimes he like moves his head with it kind of thing and um, like, if I stop and I just leave my hand on his head, he does it himself. It's the cutest thing. I love it. Um, what is the name of the first horse you ever rode? Bobby. Pasta is made! And because the last pasta is made, I'm going to answer the last question, which is... Do you think you'll get a miniature horse as well as Slinky and a wee... I think that's supposed to be wee... Best friends <laughs> Um. I really want to get a miniature horse, not a miniature Shetland, but um, I'm hoping to get one because there is a specific spot near my tax shed which I would be perfect for one, but we just need to clear out some bush and then maybe we will be getting one. Um, not big, big maybe, guys. I spoke about it a while ago, but I don't know. Unconfirmed at the moment. And yes, of course we're best friends because I love you. Yeah. Okay, guys. I hope you enjoyed this weird video. I don't know what. I hope you enjoyed this video of me cooking dinner and answering your questions. If you did enjoy it, then please give it a thumbs up. I don't think I've said that in a video for ages. Anyway, so um, I love doing these question videos and I love cooking dinner with you guys. Like, thanks for supporting me in my cooking. Anyway, um, if you guys want me to do more question videos or question videos with me cooking, or doing other things while answering your questions, tell me and leave all your questions in the, the, the comments below and I will answer them in another video. So please do that and if you guys liked watching me cook dinner while answering your questions, tell me and I will do this again because I like cooking and answering your questions. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys tomorrow for my vlog. And don't worry guys, next week I am sure I'll have a big bloopers for this video because there are a lot of bloopers that happen. A lot of things of me singing and dancing and screaming at cameras and other various things in my household, which I seem to do a lot. So yeah, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye! One last thing to say guys, Beck just said that you guys love Beck more than you love me. I'm done. I'm done. We're, our bodies are black slink, <laughs> but yours is already. <laughs> oh. oh, oh, that was so mean. He's like, nah, I've, I've had my cuddles, I'm gone.